The last week was dominated by events on the saintly Franciscan friar of the 18th century, Blessed Juni Perocera. Research about the future saint seems to give divergent images of who he was. These scholars, historians, and archaeologists came to Rome to set the record straight. We're grateful that he has chosen to canonize Blessed Unera Pacera in the United States. And so this is also a significant step. And I, I, I loved what Archbishop Gomez said about a working class missionary. I think we're calling forth, I think, that very thing within uh, the church in the United States. Let's take a step back. Let's look transparently at all things that have happened. Let's look at the context in which Father Serra worked and, and contributed to, to the life. Archaeologist Ruben Mendoza, who is of Yaqui Indian and Mexican-American heritage, at first learned hatred for Serra until he dived deeper into his life. Now he is an adamant defender of the saint's work. Junipero Serra has been a voice for Native Americans, and by virtue of his death, uh, this canonization process will basically permit Native Americans to voice their issues, concerns about the entirety of the colonial period. But at the same time, those who come to know him by virtue of new dialogues will come to realize that he was there for them. The introduction of stock raising, agriculture, a host of many dimensions of what is today the California political economy is due to Junipero Serra and those friars who zealously brought these elements of tradition into California, along with the evangelical effort. There has been the attempt to misrepresent the missions and the saints, culminating in the Californian government, wanting to take down a statue of the saint from the National Statuary Hall. The pontiff, Pope Francis, has announced the canonization of Sarah, and the California state legislature has voted to essentially remove the statue of that very individual who Pope Francis has determined to canonize. To me, that is mal cultura, that is in very poor taste, and it is uh, much like the kinds of uh, erasures of history that are going on in Iraq, where ancient Nimrud and some of the oldest cities on the planet are being uh, pillaged and destroyed for profit and politics. And I, in my opinion, the California state legislature has committed a horrendous crime in that regard. This removal has triggered protests from all sides. I suspect the opposition to the um, removal of Sarah is based on um, a lack of appreciation for what the missions did to California, what did for California. When California was taken over in 1850 by the American government, uh, they, set aside, they set upon a path of destroying the so-called um, wild Indians of California. In fact, there were bounties paid by the first governor of California. He put out $1.5 million for the scalps of Native Americans at $5 a head. And this, in effect, decimated the population. Unfortunately, there are those who believe that scourge, that Holocaust, uh, defines the mission period, and in fact, it does not. Pope Francis will canonize Blessed Juni Perocera on September 23rd during his apostolic journey to the United States. Thank you.